Ladies and gentlemen, this is Harry Estabrook coming to you from the courthouse in Hillsborough, where the jury has just returned to the courtroom in the famous monkey trial case. The judge has just taken the bench and shortly we will see whether Bertram Cates is guilty or innocent. Gentlemen of the jury, have you reached a decision? Yes, we have, Your Honor. Send in the plane. The jury's decision is unanimous. No! No! No, Harlem Shake! What do you think this is? Okay then. The jury's decision is unanimous. And Bertram Cates is guilty as charged. Boo! No! Mommy, my baby, did you hear that? Order, order, this car is still in Your Honor, I'm not a public speaker, I'm just a school teacher. Not anymore, amigo. I was a school teacher, but I feel I've been convicted of an unjust law, and I will continue to oppose this unjust law. Amen, brother! Preach on! Bertram Cates. The jury has found you guilty of violating Public Act Volume 37, State Statute Number 31428, as charged. The court deems it proper to send this Bertram Cates to pay a fine of $100. $100? I've given you a pair of boots with that sort of bank. What? Did your honor just say $100? Correct, and this will conclude the end of the trial. Your Honor, where the issues are so titanic, the court must be out of a more drastic punishment. I object. Bertram Cates has no intention of paying this or any other fine, not even if it was just a dollar. Will the court grant 30 days to prepare our appeal of letting the Supreme Court of the state decide? Granted. The court fixes a bond of $500. I believe this concludes the business of the trial. Your Honor, with the court's permission, I would just like to make some remarks that I have prepared. I object to that. Mr. Brady may make any remarks he likes to, long or short. The defense holds that this court shall be adjourned. But I have some remarks. We are all anxious to hear them, but Colonel Drummond's point is well taken. I am sure that every, everyone will wish to remain to hear you after the court is adjourned. Attention please, Colonel Brady has something to address to everyone. We beg your attention, ladies and gentlemen. Colonel Brady has some remarks that you may all be interested in. Your attention please from the hallowed hills of sacred Sinai in the days of remote antiquity came the law, which have been our bulwark and our shield. Excuse me all, Colonel Brady. Would you have mind pointing toward the Annunciator? As they would look to the mountains whence cometh our strength, here in this courtroom we have been vindicated. Ladies and gentlemen, our program has advised us that our time here is completed.